Wes Emmy back with you here at FAU Stadium alongside me, Alec Toledo, as the FAU Isles are playing host to the Charlotte 49ers for this Conference USA matchup. We're tied at seven apiece, FAU and the 49ers. In the shotgun formation, the 49ers, three receivers set, clue. Hands it off to LeMay. He's going to get a gain of three on that carry inside. Seemed to be tackled by the entire defensive line there, Wes. Swallowed up. Steven Leggett and Hunter Snyder there first. 7.53, moving on the clock in the opening quarter. They were giving three on that carry. Second down and seven. So you got to love what Charlotte's doing. They're playing to their strength. I don't know why FAU is not playing to their strength right now. Clue. Off the right hash. Ball placed on the 40. LeMay flanked to his left. Three receivers to the left side. Clue with the option. He's going to keep it. Rush inside. He's going to get to midfield. They're going to place him exactly at the 48. Wow. Yeah, uh, just an overcommit there by the linebacker Rashad Smith there, Wes. He just he just thought that that Clue was not going to run it, but Clue's a good runner. you got to pay attention to him out in space. Alec, early on, which team looks like they're trying to go to a bowl game here? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> definitely looking like Charlotte is more interested in, in, and, more, and more ready to play today. Because, Wes, we said that and they always score on first drive at FAU, but... Drives after that, they've been struggling. Owls need a win to be bowl eligible. Clue gets a shotgun. Play fakes. Steps up. Let's a fly right side. He has an open man there. There to pull it in is Work Bay Kofa. And he's finally pulled down to about the 38 yard line. And Wes, he was absolutely drilled by Rashad Smith there. <laughs> What a throw under pressure there as, uh, as Kofa catches his second ball of the game pretty much in the same exact area. 6.34, moving on the clock. 49ers again in Owls territory in the opening quarter. Exactly on the 38-yard line like I mentioned. This does not look like a 4-17 right now, Wes. They look, they look inspired. I'm telling you, who's in the shotgun, split backfield with them. And we have a flag. Yeah, I agree. It looks like maybe false start. Oh my God, illegal substitution. So they probably had 12 men on the field possibly there. Yeah, it looked like there were 12 men in the huddle there, Wes. Yeah, because I saw the two tight ends. I saw that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're unfortunately, right. Lambert did not, could not save his team there in time. I called a timeout. So it's going to be That's first down and 15. Yeah, first down and 15 here. This is the 49ers' second drive of the field. The opening drive was a touchdown drive as Clues in the shotgun formation split backfield with them. Hand off inside. This time it's to Aaron McAllister. McAllister is going to get a gain of four from the carry on that one there. McAllister, the dynamite running back with a little bit of return skills, Wes. Not as good as Benny LeMay, of course, but he, he's a good change of pace back. So his second down and 11. 5.45 moving on the big clock here at FAU Stadium as Clue. Gets in the shotgun formation off the right hash as the 49ers are moving on the natural grass from left to right. LeMay flanked to his left hip. Clue, hunch over. Waits the shotgun snap. Chest out. He's going to keep it. Run. What a beautiful play by him. And he's going to get down to near the 30-yard line. So what a good run there. They're going to be about two to three yards short of the first down. Great run on the quarterback draw there by Clue, but Hunter Snyder had a chance in the backfield, just missed him. He's a very good defensive end, and he, he just could not get Clue to the ground. Clue's looking great as a runner today, Wes. Clue out of Concord, North Carolina, doing his part here for the 49ers. He's in a shotgun, split backfield, single receiver to his left. Gets a shotgun. He's going to hand it over to LeMay. LeMay breaking tackles, and he gets down inside the 20 for a first down. A great execution play there by Charlotte West. They knew the, the run blitz was coming, but LeMay, with the great vision that he has, was able to squeeze on through before, before number 27, Devin Brown, was able to make the tackle there, West. Uh, it's not looking pretty right now for FAU West. 422 moving on the clock in the opening quarter. Clue, shotgun formation, split backfield. He's going to hand it over to McAllister. As McAllister, bunched up by so many players, he's going to get a gain of nearly five to six yards on that one. Not, 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 
<laughs> Not the drive you're looking for right now if you're FAU. FAU is just looking completely outmatched and out physical right now, Wes. And I don't, I don't blame them because those two running backs are loads out there. But FAU has to do a better job. They have a better linebacking and defensive line than this right now. They're just getting manhandled. You heard the term, the battle's in the trenches, because it's all up front at the offensive line. They're pushing those FAU defenders back. And it's a 4-3 that the FAU, they're stacking up the box, and they can't stop this running game. LeMay, handoff. He's finally stopped there. Maybe a gain of one or maybe no gain on that one. Yeah, that should be no gain there, Wes. Great job, great pursuit there. Plugging up all the holes, and LeMay just had nowhere to go. I believe that it was, uh, again, Stephen Leggett. He's having a pretty good game so far. So here's a third down and five. Let's see if the FAU defense could get a huge stop here on their home field. 49ers, they're doing their part. This is where they need Hunter Snyder to get a sack, Wes. This is what he does best, getting sacks on third down. Third down and five. 258 moving on the clock. Ball plays on a 14-yard line. Clue, shotgun formation split backfield. Single receiver left side. They hand over to McAllister, and he's going to get a gain of one on that carry. And I don't blame him from running here because you got to give the 49ers credit. Just keep doing what's working. Yeah, that was not a bad decision to run the football there. But again, they ran, they ran the ball to the left side there. Just didn't work out. They should, they should be trying to go behind their, their great right guard, right tackle Nate, D Nate Davis. But they went left there. May have, may have been a different result. They ran right. Here comes the field goal unit. On for the field goal attempt. It's going to be about nearly a 30-yard field goal attempt here. The hold of Kyle Corbett. The kicker, Jonathan Cruz. Here's the hold. Here's the kick. It is good. So the 49ers opening drive, they score a touchdown. And the second drive, they get a field goal. So with 2.03 to play here in this opening quarter, 49ers.